Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. This is project number 14 for our multi-project electronic learning board. Um, if you haven't watched the tutorials, the tutorials are all listed below. Uh, all uh, 11 blocks in the board have a tutorial. Each project has a tutorial as well. Uh, so what we have here is we've got our vibration sensor. And we've got our monostable multivibrator. If you've been following along and you know how the and you've watched the 555 monostable tutorial, you'll know how it works. Anyhow, we're, this is another vibration um, project: the earthquake detector. Next, we're going to make a more complicated and more uh, user-friendly vibration sensor module where we can adjust the sensitivity. Anyhow, this is our 10k protective resistor. On a vibration sensor, when it detects vibration, it basically acts to short it to ground. So we'll see between the spikes of 0 to 5 volts, because our VCC, our power supply, is 5 volts. We want to get rid of that DC component, that that DC uh, variable between 0 and 5 volts. We want to turn that into a little tiny AC waveform that's just a few millivolts, uh, positive and negative. And what we can do is we can couple that with the capacitor. Now the neat thing about a capacitor is even with the schematic, you can see that there's a, an area in the middle blocking it. It's blocking that DC component and it's coupling that little AC component. So when there's a variant caused by the vibration sensor, it couples a little signal that we can amplify. We'll, amp well we don't need to amplify it for this specific circuit. I'll tell you why in a minute, but we can amplify it and that's what we'll be doing in project 15. Anyhow, this 10K ohm resistor is a pull-down resistor, it's a bleeder resistor, bleeds off excess power, uh, ambient, ambient power on the AC line. We're going to connect our AC pin on our main pin block to the in pin on our main pin block. And the in pin is our trigger pin on our monostable 555 uh, circuit, our monostable multivibrator. And what that does is that turns this frequency into a single pulse. This is actually one second, a one second pulse between zero and five volts. And we don't actually need to amplify this because that little signal is just enough to trigger the, uh, the 555 timer. So we can calibrate our 555 timer uh, using the DLY potentiometer on the board, the potentiometer label DLY. And we can make that adjustable from, very, from a very, very short pulse duration to a very, very long pulse duration. Uh, more than 10 seconds actually, just by adjusting that potentiometer. Now we can also calibrate by, by pressing, there's an onboard button called S1 underscore DLY, and that is an, an additional trigger pin. Uh, it's not a pin, it's a trigger button. So we can calibrate how long uh, our output pulse will be by connecting our DLY output pin on the main pin block to the LED pin. So when the output is high for this duration, the LED will light up. So really all we have to do is put the board on the table hit it, That'll that will send an AC, a little coupled AC signal to the input trigger, it will trigger this action, trigger that on that pulse, and we'll be able to see the pulse. Uh, again, we can calibrate which how long we want that pulse to be. Now, here's where it gets challenging. This is where our project is going to end, and your, <laughs> and your challenge is going to begin, because if you've made it this far, you know how the board works, you understand the blocks, you've seen the tutorials, what can you do with this? Well, you should be able to learn, you should be able to hook um, hook this output to, say, control or increment your seven segment display. How do you do that? You figure it out. You should be able to do it by now. You could use this to toggle. You could use the output, or you could rather, you could use the input to trigger a toggle using the counter and use the output of the, the counter, the out A toggle output, to control a, to toggle a buzzer on, off, on, off, or a relay, control an AC lamp, control an AC device. You can do a lot of stuff. So why don't you try some try some of those things? Be imaginative. Use what you use what you've learned and use this output that you're witnessing on the LED to do one of many things that you can do on this board. But this as it is, if you knock on the table and the board's on the table, LED turns on for this pulse period. If you keep going like this, it'll stay on because it will, as soon as this goes low, it'll trigger again because this is constantly sending a little pulsed AC signal across that capacitor to trigger the input of a 555 timer. Anyhow, I've rambled on enough. Let's hook this up on our board. The first thing I want to do is I want to calibrate my 555 timer before I do anything else. So I'm going to take my DLY output along the main pin block, connect it to our LED pin, and I'm going to press the S1 DLY button. 
Now, if I turn the, this is the DLY potentiometer right here. If I turn it right, I will shorten the pulse delay. As you can see, the pulse delay is very short now. If I turn it left, I'll make it longer. So, I'm going to make it to about one second. One Mississippi. Good enough. Maybe turn it, well, maybe a bit longer. One Mississippi. Good. So now, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to connect our AC, um, our AC pin, which is our vibration sensor AC output, to the input of the 555 timer, the additional trigger. Um, but before I do that, I want to make sure that my sensor pin block is selecting the vibration sensor. Now that blue thing right there is the vibration sensor. And on the right of the sensor pin block, uh, is labeled VIB, the two pins are labeled VIB, the middle pins are labeled LDR, and the leftmost pins are labeled MIC for microphone. Make sure your two pin jumper is, connected, uh, is connecting the two VIP, uh, VIB pins, and then that means that we've selected our vibration sensor, we take our AC output, and we connect it to our in pin, monostable multivibrator input, in pin, and we will t connect our DLY output of the 555 timer to our LED. So that was detecting me, it was detecting me shaking the board. If I move it. So what happens if I shake the table? Earthquake detector. But now, again, I've done my part. You can take the DLY output pin and you can you can use it you can toggle you can use it to toggle states using our counter you could uh, connect that you could uh, connect it to one of our um, to trigger one of our actuators like a relay buzzer uh, motor speaker I wouldn't use it for the speaker because we just did that in another project we just turned audio into our vibration into audio there's so many things you could do on this board with this earthquake this this basic circuit so that's the ch my challenge to you do a couple different things. You've been following along. You're obviously at uh, Project 13 with me. So, try, try it out. Tell me your ideas. If you end up doing this, post on this video. Thanks for watching. Be creative, guys.